Hey guys, welcome back to Nuclear Reactors. The wait is over, we saw the teaser, we saw the song, and now finally they have released the official trailer for Varna. So let's get started now. Oh, it starts off with a new song. Uh, the same creepy guy again, but okay. Harun, his name is Harun in real life. He's a singer too. Okay, so this is her love interest. Who's that? Okay. Is this a love triangle? Although she seems like pissed at both of them, but okay. Or like, not, yeah, pissed at one, creeped out by the other. We have to talk about that one. Okay, yeah, alright. So she is pissed at both of them. Look at the visuals, man. I like that. I like that a lot. Check your captain husband, sir. Lada Hogi. Hosse ko match nita tomara. Inshallah, my Baba is the future Prime Minister of Pakistan. To me, zindagi me. Okay. Are you mad? Stop it. Okay, now don't do that. Don't ever do that, man. Don't ever do that. Were her hands tied behind her back? Do do liye fir pio. That your wife or sister hai. What a douchebag. Okay, so the story just got complicated. Or well, more complicated, rather. All the time. This is so intricate. I I have no idea what the story is about. I mean, a little idea, but it's all over the place. Not in a bad way. In fact, it makes it more interesting. It leaves a mystery. I'm, I'm glad they sort of uh, haven't really given the story out in this trailer. What's with that creepy look, man? Like, yeah, yeah, her reaction was right. I missed that. Okay, that expression. Now that expression will scare the bejesus out of me. Yep, November 7th release date, guys. Do watch it. Anyways, okay. So I have a few things. Now, let's start off with her expressions because that was the last thing we saw, right? So, okay. So here's what I did not like. Okay, so you know the, uh, the part where she says, Now, I think the director should have done a double take on that because it sounded like to me she said, Mujhe mardu ne kharab kiya. Like instead of, instead of kharab, she says kharab. You know, which is fine. She's a great actress and everything. And you know, I think she's a, she's a director's actress. actress. So, you know, it should have been on Shri Mansoor to be, you know, to be like, Mayra, let's do another shot and say it like this. You know, say it properly. Because, you know, people make mistakes. It's fine. She's human, right? Okay. Now, but then, like, throughout the whole uh, trailer, her expressions were great. Her acting chops were amazing. Uh, you know, she's very engaging. You know what I mean? Like, I think, she, I, mean, I don't want to say that she'll be the only one carrying the movie. That'll be a big disservice to the other two actors and the director. But because she was mostly in the trailer, so I think that she's probably did a great job. And, okay, and that last expression where she's like, I mean, she knows she's up to no good. Yeah, you know she's up to no good and you just want to go the other way. You don't want, you, you don't want to deal with that because you know that you know, you're in a lot of trouble now. Okay, now, regarding the two actors. So, uh, as in like uh, Harun, the guy who she's supposedly married to, and the other guy. And uh, firstly, I actually thought they both were the same guy. But just the other guy, like, he's basically like uh, more as if the first guy grew his beard out. You know, that's what I thought. Because they, the shape of the face looks so similar that I feel that it's a little confusing, you know, especially if you're not familiar with their faces from before. So I don't know, like maybe the casting should have been a little bit different. But again, don't you know, listen to me. Maybe it is the casting is perfect. And just right now, it's just my opinion, right? And um, now, 
I think both um, actors, these, um, Harun and the other one, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, they both bring something to the table. So what I guess is Harun is like the sort of like a you know wife beater, and um, the other guy, he's some sort of you know he is a like very powerful politician's son, and therefore he's corrupt with power. He is on a huge power trip, thinks that he can get any girl, and it's very sort of um, uh, kind of reminds me of what's happening right now. You know, with the Harvey Weinstein in the USA, where in the USA. So he's like this big executive who's sort of, you know, uses his power to sort of, you know, um, prey on uh, women and stuff like that. You know, pe women who are not at, in that much power. You know, there's always this power, power dynamic. So anyways, reminding me of that. Also, I gotta say that the cinematography was excellent. Like the camera work was great. And basically all of the production values, right? And it did not seem like the director wanted to, just because he had all these resources, he wanted to use them all just for the sake of it. No, he used them just right. Like we see the effect and it's not overwhelming. It is just right. Um, the background music was just right. Some At some parts it was nice and slow and breezy and then it picks up momentum. You know, it gives us the feel that this is obviously not just a thriller, thriller, not just a thriller, but a very fast paced thriller, which I love. I don't like slow thrillers. I think thrillers need to maintain the momentum, otherwise, there's a fear of losing interest in them, which is which sucks because you know these are thrillers make really uh, intense, fun, uh, engaging stories. The scene where the guy slapped the Harun, he slapped Mahira, right? So I was saying that, dude, come on, like obviously you know she's gonna have it out for you. I, I think you're the I think you're the same guy who she was drowning in the teaser that we saw a few weeks ago. You know because yeah, you don't hit people. You know, you you get angry about something, you know, just use your word. You want to scream, you know, on the top of your lungs, do that. You know, you want to write something down, write it angrily, right? Just do not use physical force. Because if you do that, then you have someone like Maira coming after you, which is great. Now, about Shoei Mansoor, this guy always has a message in his movies. In Khudakili, there was a message. In Bodh, there was a message. And I feel there's a message here as well, but it does not come across as preachy, at least from the trailers. You know, like we get it, you know, it's about a woman who's been wronged by two men and she's going to she's gonna go after them. So I hope that the dialogues are not so preachy like, oh, like in the end, for example, oh, you should never hit women because that is wrong, blah, blah, and they will come after you. Like, no, we, we don't want to hear that. Like, you know, don't underestimate our intelligence, which some directors do. You know, they want to have this big dialogue in the end, which sort of, you know, like uh, entails like the whole message of the movie, but it's like, we don't need that. Like we get it. We saw, you know, like your actions proved, are, are your actions are stronger than your words, right? So I hope that they don't do that in the end because that would be really quite a shame. Uh, by the way, this movie sort of reminded me um, of Indecent Proposal, that movie, that Hollywood movie made, I think in 1992 with Demi Moore and Woody Harrelson and Robert Redford. It, because even there, so, you know, Demi was married to this guy, like average middle class guy, and she meets this like really uh, well-to-do guy who sort of, again, uses his power dynamic to sort of woo her and stuff. And so it kind of reminded me of that, but a little bit, you know, I'm not saying that this is going to be a remake of that or even inspired by it, but this reminded me of it a little bit. Okay, before I go, a special shout out to our sponsors at UMO. So these headphones are super amazing. They have been reviewed by Forbes, glowing reviews by them. They've also been uh, praised by Emmy Award winning sound engineers in Hollywood. And I could tell because when I put them on, the sound was so crisp, I could hear different instruments playing. You know, sometimes when you hear, when you have headphones on, you can't really detect all of the different instruments. <laughs> With these, you can. So yeah, find them online and get some, get them for yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye.